Hi, my name is Jeremiah from Sanary. I am a proud farmer. I'm going to be showing you what I do on my farm as a farmer. Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be visiting one of the youngest farmers within Sanoye. He's Jeremiah Saki. Of the few days I've spent here, I've heard a whole lot about Jeremiah and his investment into the soil. In such a struggling economy, in such an already fractured economy of our country, there are a lot and lot of young Liberians that are working to ensure that self-sustainability can be prioritized. This has pushed them to investing into their abilities, investing into the soil, investing into whatever skills and talents they have to ensure that this goal of developing, of sustaining and maintaining our society and our family can be achieved. So today, I'm going to be going on this journey along with Solomon Cooper. Solomon is the guy who taught us how to make the palm oil. He's going to be in most of the videos to ensure that our targets for this month can be action. Just arrived in Jeremiah's village and it seems like too many people are not in the village today so we're gonna to try to see how best we can ask one or two persons to know where he is. Let's try to ask a guy on the kitchen perhaps he may know where Jeremiah is. So we on our way to Jeremiah's farm. Yeah, you can come closer. Say your name, Chief. Didi. Didi. I know you are laughing at my Japa Peleo. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon behind it. <laughs> I think I need to get rid of the of the, the sweater on. Oh, I mean, you know, you for more because so many like they in the bush. <laughs> What's up? I cannot see you, my man. Yeah, I have a can eh? So I finally came here on Jeremiah's farm. Uh, like I told you, he's one of the young farmers that people talk a lot about. So I'm expecting to see a lot of good things on his farm. Uh, though it's a kind of little bit bushy, I don't know. But I think he's gonna give us reasons why I'm seeing a lot of the crops in the bush. So would you mind uh, touring us on your, on your farm? Yeah, yeah. Would you mind carrying us around on your farm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we can proceed. When you see there on the farm, from her other, now it's not easy, right? Mm -hmm. And the farm that for those of food, this time I tell myself I had to put myself into it to do what I can do. I want to do more than what my one can do. Okay. See that right here? See that where the farm is going? See where the farm is going? Yeah. See that all the people. Okay. Okay. This is one of the nursery, right? Yeah. But this day, I start doing the cool farming. I started with a mineral bag. This time I go on the market ground. I pick the mineral plastic. I can open it and then put a little deck in there. I put the cocoa seed there and come. I pack it somewhere. 
Okay. When it grow as desired, water over and over until it reach to a stage. Okay. But if I take it from here now, plant like you see in this root, mm -hmm. it can cause so many of the cocoa to die. Like if I plant 500, mm -hmm. I end up getting 200. Yeah, why do you cause it to die? Because the bear is not made for putting cocoa in it. The bear is small. Okay, but why not to plant it? You cut off all the bears and then pull it. You can the take all the bags from on the right, but the root I already been penetrated from the bag. But like the rough for pulling bear, what the people can use for the cocoa. Okay. If you put the cocoa in it, the root can easily penetrate it. Okay. So if you tear the bag from on it, you plant it, it can survive. Okay, I see. Yeah. So you mark your also the next, the next point. Yeah. So this this was the first process you started with? Yeah, this is how I started. Okay, and now you are using the pulling yeah, bag the pulling plaza. to have your, 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 your cocoa nursery done. done, right? Yeah. Okay. But oh, you can carry also the pulling side? Yeah. All right. This is what I talk about. Okay. You see like for this? You see the height of it? Yeah, yeah. You can see any root under the sun here. See it? Yeah, yeah. So this is the rifle plastic for the coconut tree. So how you get your supplies? For the this supply before I get it, it was something like a cut pan and produce the oil, sell it and go buy the plastic and not even stopping that far another person had a cocoa farm i go do daily work to them and then they give me some of their plastic determination yeah. determination can do can make you do anything yeah. passion can make you do anything so i think it's that strange is is it, it, that's what we should expect from young people who have vision mm -hmm. young people who have the desire to ensure that they themselves can contribute towards the transformation of this nation. So I'm so proud of you, Jeremiah. I and I think it, it, it's not really the past hundred. No, there is more like seven hundred. Yeah. Seven hundred nursery. Seven hundred cocoa on nursery. Yeah. Yeah. Come closer. Come closer, Chief. Like you see this tree. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that encourage me ready to do cocoa. Because my little father playing, I think seven or the two, seven or two of them, I'm the two, two of them. But each time when I harvest it, I carry it on the market, on the world market, I make small money. I say, but then why I can't get a thing? Because I didn't go to school, right? So I can't just sit down and then not be doing anything, right? So I desire, I look at it, and myself, I put myself into use by me extending it. And at this time, I got almost 6,000. You got almost 6,000 cocoa trees. Yeah. That you you have planted six, yeah. almost 6,000 cocoa trees. Yeah. And I told you how many years you do? It's almost like three years. Three years. Yeah. If you go back there, you will have the chance to tour the whole place. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I will not have the strength for that. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see how best we, we can get to as many as we can. Okay. So that means the farm is going all the way back. Yeah. The only thing I'm, I'm looking at is the, is the bush. Is like the bush. They trying to take over the farm. Yeah, because of support. Because yeah. of support. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just take us to the next place. Maybe we can see one or two of the trees. This is exactly where Jeremiah started three years ago with his cocoa uh, production. We began this tour on Jeremiah's cocoa farm. It took us up to 30 minutes. We couldn't capture every section of the farm. A drone camera could have done us a lot more by capturing every section from above. Honestly, this is a huge farm and I could see the number of work asserted within three years to reach this far. If Jeremiah had the support to maintain this farm, I believe by now he's making a whole lot of money. He could even have people partnering with to help change his life and the life of the family and people around him so we're just gonna go through the video I hope you you watch with compassion and if there's a need to help him uh, don't mind reaching out that would be greatly appreciated
besides having a cocoa farm, this young Liberian farmer also raised pigs to sell in order to raise fundings to support himself and his family. So in the next video, we are going to take a trip to his pig pen and we're also going to have an exclusive interview with Jeremiah in the next shot. So he has something special to tell every Liberian. Let's hear from him. I want to tell all of young people in this country that we need to do something at least to help ourselves. Not everything we tell, oh, government doing this, government doing that. We can do anything to at least get money. We plant, the soil is there, we raise animals, and we do more and more. I encourage all my young friends, let us do something, at least we can push ourselves far. Thank you. My name is Jeremiah Saki.